Well, good afternoon again, ladies and gents. And today I'm in a little area called uh, Reading Green, uh, just outside Hoxton. And we're gonna go and see the lodge. Now this is a lovely setting. We're tucked away. It's a fairly quiet road that we're on. And you may just take a step back and a pheasant making its noise there. So this is the country lane that you set on. Gorgeous spot. It's a gorgeous day as well. And you've just got uh, two properties down here. There's the lodge and there's a the barn as well. Now the property we're looking at is the lodge. It owns all this driveway. It owns all the land you can see on the left-hand side where the trees are and the daffodils. And it runs up to those gates. And just in front of the gates, you can see a little wood store and what have you. Then we've got the gates here leading through into this part. And here we have the property. And the property is a bit of a gem, actually. What we'll do is have a wander around the outside, first of all. A real good feel for it. So you've got a sandstone patio here. Plenty of parking. And the reason I'm going to take you around the outside, first of all, is I want you to see the original style. There's a lot of gothic feeling about this this property. So I go through the gate, further linked patio area, and straight away you start to see that little gothic feel about it, the windows that are there. Raised vegetable garden, and a good store building at the back, ideal as a home office. I'll take you inside and have a quick look at that. So at the moment, used as a store area, the thing yourself working from home, sat at your desk and looking out onto your garden like that. So this is the productive side of the garden. And we carry on round the side here. This is the original front of the house and you can see what I mean about the Gothic feel about it. Nice little detail here. The name on there, 1860. And then we come around this side where you've got your lawn garden. All very well presented, beautifully kept. A real characterful place. Characterful garden and character inside as you'll see in just a few moments time. There we go, underneath the archway, back round to where we started, where you've got this really pretty patio part. So, another door there. We're going to go in this way, though. And this takes us into the kitchen. Real character. It's simply furnished in many ways, but it's got this lovely sitting area at the side. Now that's a decent sized table, so there's plenty of room for, we've got six chairs around there, you could easily squeeze another two in if you wanted. Little farmhouse sink with the wood tops and the drain is inset, and then the range master set into the fire. Half glazed door, takes us through into the inner hall, and we'll go into the sitting room first of all. A lot of style about this. It's been very cleverly designed here. You've got these Gothic windows, and then just up above the cornice, follows through with that same Gothic pattern, as does the fireplace. It's got the wood burner in set, it's a really cosy room for the winters. And that's the original front door, as you see on there. There's a decent sized room. Going along the hall, the main bedroom, decent sized double bed that we've got here. It's just got a lovely charm about it. It's a great position. When you're just outside the village, Easy access, 
Obviously back into this if you need the train line. Takes you into London Liverpool Street in just 90 minutes. You've got good shops not far away and I as well for all your daily needs. And I have been reliably told you can walk to Horham when there's a very, very good local shop. Uh, it's a 20 minute walk across the fields. I may even show you the route in a little while. So the bathroom, very stylish. And then there is an added bonus with the house because we go outside and what we have here is more than a shed. Got another bedroom. So if you're looking for somewhere that perhaps could be sort of let out, little B&B, &B, overspill guest accommodation and the like, you've got a bedroom with bath. And in here is the cloakroom. Around the back of the building, just to, that's the building we were just in a moment ago. I'll take you back around. We've been around here before. I'll only show you these parts as well. Because you've got the log store in there. And then we have a little boiler room, utility area in there as well. So that's the house. That's all the accommodation. And the final thing I'm going to show you is because there's a gateway through here. This isn't onto land that is owned, but it does give you a feel for the setting. So you go through here, footpath at the side, runs down to the road, and then that's what you're looking out across. long footpath and that footpath will take you right the way across you probably can't quite see it in the middle there whether i can zoom in Let's see you may just see a church tower that's horham just in the distance so not very far away at all so ladies and gents if you want to come and view this place do give us a call on 01379 641 341 or send an email to us which is prop at twgaze.co.uk and we'll arrange all the viewings for you. It is a bit of a gem, lots of character, lots of style and a great position.